don't know, this feels weird. It's not my garden. Not my natural habitat. Hi and welcome to a video with Habiba the Silver. <laughs> that just sounds funny when you say it. I actually knew Habiba when I was a kid. Um, I'd say we were of, weren't best friends, but we were of the same circle of people. Yes. And then we didn't talk for 20 years and then now we're here. Now we're here. How are you doing, Javiba? I'm good, thank you. I'm well, how are you? Not too bad, not too bad. This is very interesting. This is? Uh, what is what is this? So, I got you this Brazilian drink called Guarana, and I want you to try it. I I've almost never try tried it. it before, so okay. let's see if you like it. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who don't know who Javiba is, uh, she's an international uh, superstar model. Model? I wouldn't say I'm a model. Oh, what are you? <laughs> I would say like I'm a content creator. Content creator, but Business like in way. what in what industry? Fashion and beauty. Fashion and beauty. So you do things like you know dresses. I and wear dresses. Dre like you know clothes and makeup. Yes. Indeed. Interesting. Interesting. So you know quite a lot about fashion. Kind of, yes. Am I fashion? To be honest, when Omar walked in today, I said to him, why are you copying me? Because he's wearing a white top and jeans. I mean... So yes, you're fashion. Because I'm fashion, you know? Where are you from? I'm from Birmingham, but originally I'm Brazilian and Lebanese. It's an interesting mix. But is it because a lot of Lebanese people live in Brazil? Yeah, so it's very common in Brazil. There's okay. a lot of Lebanese people that live in Brazil and they mix. That's why a lot of people assume that my dad is originally Lebanese. Like oh, a lot okay. of people think that, but that's not the case. But um, yeah, it's very unique here. There's so not a lot here. How do your parents communicate? Like what language? My dad speaks Arabic. Oh, okay. Interesting. Interesting. Yes, he so learned speak. Arabic and he speaks English. Does your mum speak Brazilian? Portuguese. Ah, oh, sorry. Oh my God. Oh my God. I hate uh, it when people ask me this <laughs> question. I made, I made a mistake there. I made a mistake. I know. I get annoyed as well. Does no, your mum speak Portuguese? No, my mum doesn't speak. She understands a lot of it, but she doesn't speak it. Okay. Lebanon or Brazil? Which do you prefer? You can't ask me that question. Because I love them both differently. I mean, culturally, I think I'm a lot more closer to the Lebanese side. Okay. But I love them both. Equally. Would you say you have more people following you from Lebanon than Brazil or do you think yes. it's quite equal? I think so, yeah. Okay. But it's starting to like even out lately. I've actually been to Lebanon once. Did you uh, like it? I didn't really like it. Why? Because, you know, any time I'd start speaking Arabic, um, the, just, everyone would just start laughing. Like I was. So your Arabic's quite good, though. I mean, it's. I, I don't think it was about the level of my Arabic. It was about your accent, the Egyptian accent. Yeah. So the Lebanese people love Egyptians. Yeah. So e everything to them was like, oh, oh they, is they, there they, a Kebesha? Yeah. I'm an Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Could you do a Egyptian accent? Um, do you know what? I understand all Arabic accents. Okay. But speaking them, I can only speak the Lebanese. I mean, I can accent. I can try a Lebanese Go accent. Shoya Zaleme, Shobedek, 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 and that's all I know. They sound like they're singing yeah, slightly. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Got a little twang. Prefer but I love I love Egyptian. I love the Egyptian accent. Yeah. You just said you prefer the Egyptian accent. No, no, I don't prefer it. All right. I love it. <laughs> okay. I don't prefer it. Let's uh, let's talk about makeup. Okay. I know nothing. What do you want to know? Do you think girls get too much stick or they always get criticism specifically from guys because they wear makeup? 
Because a lot of guys think that uh, girls wear makeup for them, but we don't wear makeup for guys. We really don't. As I in mean, just to impress guys? Yeah, yeah, but I wear makeup because it's like therapeutic for me, because I enjoy it, because it's like art to me. And okay. a lot of other girls relate with that. Okay, okay. Would you say there's an equivalent for guys to wearing makeup? No. There isn't any. Getting a haircut. Okay. But it's not the same because with, with makeup, with girls, we literally sit there and we become creative. We can do so much with it. With hair, you can't really do much. So I don't know. I don't know if there is one. It's not the same. Yeah, Sorry. it's not necessary. Women are elite. Yeah. Just saying. Do you ever feel pressured from social media? Yeah, I do sometimes. Specifically, like, you know, you wear the hijab as well. Uh, does that have added pressure? 100%. Because people... People think that you have to act and be a certain way all the time. They think as, as long as you have the hijab on, you have to be like an angel. You can't make any mistakes. Mm. We're all human beings, we're going to make mistakes. Does it ever put you down? Not anymore. I think when I was younger, I was a lot more affected by certain things. I'm still affected by certain things now, I'm a human being. But yeah. um, when it comes to my hijab, I think my relationship with it has transformed and I don't really care about what, what anyone else says about me and my hijab because I couldn't imagine if guys wore the hijab well guys should be observing hijab technically but nobody does but nobody says anything about that do they you know what a guy's hijab is yeah yeah but obviously just remind for the remind us for the people at home. it's basically lowering your gaze so for the first, firstly, when guys are saying you're not wearing your hijab properly, you're not even wearing your hijab, first of all. Okay, cool, cool, Do you cool. get it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So guys do wear hijab as well. They should. They do. should, but they don't. Yeah. None of them do, but they want to judge us when we take off our hijab. <laughs> this is really nice. Just saying. Give it another try. I mean, I've only been on social media for like five minutes, so I'm getting used to it. Um, but I find have you had any negative stuff yet? I, not really. I just had. I think I had like one comment or two comments. I always get a comment about wearing shorts. Oh. Uh, so I'll be wearing shorts, and then people will comment. I don't know how your dad let you show your aura. Yeah. That's not very nice. It's not too bad. Did you block them? No, I didn't block them, but it's interesting how they think that they, my dad exactly. chooses what I wear. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever get stopped in the street? Yes. What's the feeling like? I don't know, I, I like it now. I feel yeah. like, well, I've always liked it. I've enjoyed like meeting people that support me. I think that's lovely. I just, sometimes people can be weird but for the most part it's really nice to connect with because I feel like when I'm on social media I don't really see my followers as sometimes they don't even look at as, as like they're just people on their yeah. phones yeah. so it's nice to actually connect with them and see them in person and have conversations with them so. yeah I can imagine that I mean I got stopped once really? why is what? that? Nothing. I mean but the guy the guy who stopped me asked me for a cigarette so I don't oh. I don't think that counts. Don't worry, Omar. Maybe after this video. I think a lot of people at home, including myself, uh, are curious to know what your DMs look like. Probably should not be curious. Curious. <laughs> I mean, uh, with that many followers, uh, what's like the weirdest messages uh, you get? I've had some really. I, I can't even tell you because there's just too many weird. Okay, things. I'm assuming. Okay, guys, they're in there. With yeah, weird guys. Weird. It's always a. It's always weird. It's guys. always weird guys. Yeah. yeah. Anything like, like the most random thing? I have a lot of people asking like, can you pay for my university? Or can you pay, like really random like stuff. Can they pay for your university? Like, can you no, pay for I pay for their like, university. uni degree, yeah. And these are like British people, like it's not, that's quite that's interesting. That's so weird. I don't think I've had anything other than the guys, which is a whole, different category in itself yeah other than that girls are the girls are all right the weirdest thing i ever got was like uh, a girl sent me a video of her chasing sheep i got scared <laughs> i know you did i know you did but that chasing is a true sheep. story she knows who she is chasing she just 
randomly send me videos of her chasing sheep in the field. And I grew to like those videos. That's but if that's the weirdest thing I get, then I'm not complaining. Okay. Do you find it difficult to, uh, to meet people or find love? What is love? It's almost impossible. Almost impossible? I think generally getting married as a Muslim Brit is really difficult, generally. And I also think that having a platform and being a woman on a platform makes it a hundred times harder because people just like the idea of me. They like, they like what they see. They don't really know me for me. Do you know you. what I mean? And I'm talking about mainly social media. Even people that come up to me, they'll know who I am and they just want to get to know me because of my name, because of who I am or my background. And I want to meet someone like in person. Like I want to meet someone who doesn't even know who I am. Sorry, I'm not. <laughs> and just you All right, out sure. if you want. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay it's okay no but I just I just rather meet someone who I don't know who doesn't know who I am just start like a fresh book do you know what I mean okay do you have a type not anymore what was your type ah. oh, okay <laughs> not Drake <laughs> not Drake it's interesting she mentions Drake. Do social media influencers go out with other social media influencers? Is that how it works? Is that? I don't really know. I mean, I wouldn't, I don't think I'd want to be with someone who's social media famous. Because there'd be too much focus on our relationship and I wouldn't want that. Okay. I'd rather be like a bit low key, do you know what I mean? Have you ever uh, dated anyone famous? Yes, I, n fam <laughs> no, I haven't. No, I have not. Drake. I've never dated anyone. Drake. Habibti, please. No. Do you have any social media enemies? No. Do you have any enemies? No. I wouldn't give, I, I don't give people power to have that title. Okay. I mean, for me, my enemies are the enemies of my friends. What? Your enemies are your friends? No, not my friends. <laughs> not my friends. Not my friends. <laughs> not my I don't friends. know what you said. <laughs> my enemies are the enemies of my friends. Oh. I'm like that as well, to be honest. Yeah. I hate it though. Because Why do you hate it? I hate hating people that my friends don't like because they never do the same to me. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. Actually, I don't think my friends do the same. I think I'm too loyal to my friends. Do you know nice. what I mean? It just yeah, it doesn't get back. Nice, yeah. Do you ever hear like, do you ever hear crazy rumors about yourself? All the time. And you're like, that's just not true. All the time. I want to know at least one rumour that you heard. Okay, a lot of people think that I'm part of the Illuminati and I make like millions of millions of millions and it's because I'm part of the Illuminati. Yeah. Part of Illuminati. It's because, I don't know if you ever saw, but there's a video I made like a long time ago. It had a lot of views, like millions of views. And it's basically, I was talking about an email that I got from a guy who first pretended to be part of Vogue. And I believed him, so I gave him my number. Okay. And then he was trying to recruit me. Okay. To be part of the Illuminati. And so after that, because people, people have seen me rise to like, my my career, they think that I joined the Illuminati. How much do you think I am part of the Illuminati? <laughs> I don't know her anymore. I don't even know what I was gonna say now. <laughs> the, the the I think the rumor I heard about you is that you were dating Drake. Habibti, please, Anna Akid, in Tijuana, Ahla. Very interesting rumor. I think I made it up like five minutes ago. <laughs> Something else I wanted to ask you is if people are following in your footsteps, you know, doing the same sort of work you do and they want to be as successful as Javier Silva, do you
do you think it's more difficult now than the time you did it because 100%. the market's so condensed yes there's too many people trying to do the same thing that's why i always say if you want to if you want a career in this you have to be genuinely passionate about it you actually you have to really want it and you have to be unique as well you have to find something about you that's gonna stand out from everyone else so basically if you do want to do the same thing don't because you're gonna fail no that's not why i said all right okay anyway uh that's been an interview with have you silver really uh, you enjoyed that yeah, I did. yeah. Uh, i hope you guys enjoyed the video hopefully um if you did enjoy you like and share and uh can we do it in my garden next time because okay. i'm not too sure about this <laughs> space Come on, you i mean it. it's a nice place but you know i feel out of my zone here <laughs> uh anyway cut okay um that was how, fun. how do you think that went oh really well yeah all right i think i was drinking a lot though like i was all the time. Yeah. Um, thanks for being a part of my video. Sorry. Obviously, now that it's over, I just I wanted to ask you if uh, you know maybe maybe you have the time uh, we we can go out and get to know each other. I think my phone's ringing. Just your, no. your phone's ringing. Yep. Your phone's ringing. Yep. I, I didn't hear it ring though. I didn't, I didn't hear the phone ring. <laughs>